Hello friends, today I'll show you how to set up Android Path in Ubuntu. To do this, first you need to download the Android SDK from Android's official site that is developer.android.com. I have downloaded the SDK already and kept under my home folder. So I'll not download it once again. Go to Android SDK folder. Here you can see different folders. We need to set path of two folders. One is platform tools, the other is tools. Before telling you how to set up the SDK path, I want to tell you why is it required to do this. To do this, open the terminal by clicking single click or you can press Alt, Ctrl and T. So there are multiple commands of Android SDK which can be used once the path is set. Now we know that I have not set the path at all. I have just downloaded it. So let's take one command adb press enter key. Here you can see in the screen it is writing the program adb is currently not installed. This clearly telling that I have not installed it. I have just downloaded it and kept under the home folder. You can install it by typing, it's writing one command here, by typing this command I can install it. So now let's take one more command that is android. You can see it is writing android command not found. So it is telling me that the path is not set, I have to set the path then only I can use the tools of android sdk. To do this close the terminal. okay come inside android sdk folder already i have told you we need to set path of platform tools and tools first we'll see platform tools double click on it here you can see multiple files and folder here you can see adb the command just i typed and it showed me that i have not installed it and i need to install it so and you can see here dm trace dump SQLite 3 all these commands or tools can be used once the path is set to do this press ctrl L you can see the address in the address bar press ctrl C press escape key to remove the address bar from the screen minimize it or without minimizing you can go to home folder here you can see different folders right so the path which i just copied i have to paste in a file that is dot base rc so here we are not able to see the file there are multiple hidden files are placed under this folder so we have to make it unhidden then only we can see it so our dot base rc also is an unhid sorry hidden file so to make it unhidden press ctrl h here you can see multiple folders these all were hidden files now these are unhidden uh, we have to take dot base rc file double click on it scroll down completely at the bottom of the screen you can see here fi right now press enter key so here i will type one command where i will paste my path of platform to let's start it export space capital path equal to dollar again capital path colon inside single code you can paste the path of platform tools or you can use double code also so i'll paste it by pressing ctrl v so i have pasted the path of platform tools i have already told you that we need to set path of platform tools and tools as well to do this we'll follow the same steps minimize it go to android sdk folder tools folder ctrl l press the address escape key and then come to base rc folder sorry file this was in minimize state so I, I have not opened it once again. Since I have typed one address already here, to type the 
next address I need to press one colon then same thing single quote control B here also if you want you can use double quote so here I have copied the address of platform tools and tools save it control S and close all the windows now the path of Android SDK is set so we are ready to use the tools of SDK to do this open the terminal in the beginning of the tutorial I typed edb command which did not work means it showed me that I have not installed it now let's type the same command once again adb press enter key here we go we can see all the commands of adb and the version of adb which we are using currently that is 1.0.32 that means platform tools is successfully the path of platform tools is successfully set because adb is a command of platform tools now let's see one command of tools so the same command i am taking which i had taken in the beginning of the tutorial that is android here we go we can see the android sdk manager but in the beginning of the tool it showed us that command not found so this shows that android sdk path is successfully set in ubuntu to know more about Android, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.